Well, I'm here with more of the Aspire Award winners from uh, a place known as Florida International University in the great city of Miami, USA. Uh, and uh, it is really nice to, uh, to be able to talk with you. And, and why don't we talk a little bit about what it was you won the award for and, and why it's really important to the university. The, the, we have a fantastic leader in John Rock, who prior to coming to Miami was in New Orleans with LSU when Katrina hit and realized the importance of a medical school's involvement in the community and its accountability to this, the community itself. So he allowed us to develop a curriculum based upon his mission that we were going to be not only just a community-based or community-dependent uh, medical school, but one that was socially accountable to improve the health of a community and ready there if there was any, any disaster. We've built relationships with over 100 community organizations. Um, Joe's outreach team works with them to identify families and households that want to participate in the program. So the, the actual um, community participation is driven by the, the local communities. And our students engage along with nursing students, law students, social work students um, in Ed these households and communities. Education students. This year we're adding PA students and engineering students. In the sense that when you go out in the community and you ask somebody what they need, nobody ever says a colonoscopy. They say other needs, the social determinants of health. And to be able to teach our students both population health and the social determinants of health and then throw them into it to deal with those complexities, to be able to improve the health of the individuals. And we do something very unique, which is called household-centered care, not just patient-centered care. We think the household becomes the most important unit of measure for health and or disease. As complex as that is, the student needs to understand that to prepare for the future workforce to really improve the health of our communities. Well, it sounds like you're very interprofessional, probably involving more professions than many other places do. And it also sounds like you encourage that social engagement from an early uh, point in the yeah. education. At what point is it introduced in the curriculum? Day one. And how do you do that? We, we do that by starting off with the ethical foundations of medicine and social medicine. Within, uh, I guess about six months, they're assigned households. And now they're responsible for the households with these interdisciplinary teams until they graduate. So they also learn longitudinal care and the responsibility they have in how to interact and how to deal with the time constraints that you have in your real life as a physician. Is the fact that you're a relatively young school uh, a help in that you could have designed the curriculum this way? 100%. I think it was three factors. First was John Rock, our dean, with his leadership. Number two was we were a young school and we were the, the first of the new millennial schools. And also, although our university is the second largest in the state of Florida and fifth largest in the country, it's a young university. And the younger the university is, the less you have to deal with traditions. I think that's where I was going with it. <laughs> now, now let's uh, sort of continue. with that program as the foundation <laughs> yeah. of the education system. And, and let's, let's sort of go along that line. You're a young school, but you've won an Aspire Award. What does that mean to you? It, it, it's, we're, we're odd. We're incredibly humbled and, and we, we know that we have to keep trying to get it right. But we know that you have to take chances and you have to go out there. And the fact that AMI and the Aspire Award and the Academy, this is such a refreshing thing for me to be able to deal with other universities around the world that are actually doing this and actually doing things that we wish we could be doing. And it's just, uh, it's thrilling. I yeah, and it allows us to become part of a group and continue the conversation and get the word out there um, and really be an example to other schools as well. And it's very exciting. It also sounds like you embrace the students as partners. They're not oh, just the students. Absolutely. They are. Th th these are mature college graduates and they need to be treated as such and we need their input from everything from curriculum are we doing the outreach correctly what suggestions do you have how do we make this better because at the bottom line is at the end somebody's life depends on it and so that's that's how it I talk to the Aspire winners every year and, and that's a common theme it's how the students are viewed and where the students fit within not just the, the curriculum but the curriculum design their opinions count. Oh, they count. We get an enormous amount of student feedback. And our first two classes were small, were around 40 students. And we were constantly working with them and asking them for feedback. And that's really continued. Our dean um, 
has lunches with every student every year in groups of 30 to 40, goes around the room, asks them for input, and we bring that back in a feedback session to them, everything that we've responded to. So they're, they are very used to giving us their input. Yeah, <laughs> Although one class will say, this doesn't work, the next one will say, that was the best thing I yes, ever had. Well, yeah, and that's, that's the beauty of <laughs> diversity, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, what exactly. would you say to other universities and schools around the world uh, who are considering applying for an Aspire Award? To apply for the Aspire Award is one of the most prestigious things that somebody could imagine, and I'll tell you why. The fact that you are recognized in trying to do something different, knowing how the health outcomes are in this world, is it's one of the most rewarding things, knowing that we're not even close to resolving these disparities. But as was said in this lecture this morning, this is one of these that you're never going to resolve, but you can never stop trying. It's infinite. It's infinite. But so are the possibilities. So exactly right. And I actually think that the subtitle for Aspire Award should be Save the World. One student at a time. One student at a time. That's exactly <laughs> right. We should leave here and open up a shop. Let's do that. Come on. <laughs> Guys, anything else you'd like to share? No, we're, we're, we're truly honored to be a part of this and, and, uh, and, and truly humbled to be a part of all these other great schools that we've met, the past winners, these, and I know the future winners too. And believe me, we're going to be applying for some of the other awards. And I wish you <laughs> luck for them. It's been a pleasure getting to know you both. It's been our pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.